Welcome to One on One. I'm your host Shane Reinert and today my guest is Brian Duff. Uh, he actually served in the military over in Afghanistan. Welcome to the show, Brian. Thank you, Shane. Now, Brian, how did you get into the military? It's actually pretty simple. Um, you basically walk into the recruiting office and uh, say you want to sign up and they sign you up. Um, then, then from there, obviously, it gets a little more complicated. They want to know uh, stuff about your past, what you, you know, any prior criminal records, anything like that, uh, where you've lived. I mean, they, they pretty much want to know everything about you. Uh, and then from there, they, they uh, eventually go to a place called MEPS where they do more screening, um, where they'll do medical screening um, as well as more background screening. Um, and then you also uh, pick your, your MOS or your job there. Uh, and your ship out dates. All right, so what motivated you to join? Lots of things, actually. Um, I'd, I'd had uh, a couple of good friends of mine join the military, um, one, one being my brother-in-law. Uh, uh, another thing was, uh, you know, I was trying to go to school and I was broke. Um, so that was one big motivation. Um, you know, initially that was the motivation after, you know, having been in the military, it was uh, kind of looking back, it was more of uh, wanting to help serve my country and help people out. All right. Uh, what happened from the day you signed up until the day you finished basic training? After I signed up, I was uh, put on the, what they call the debt program or the delayed entry program. Uh, which delayed my entry for, for about two weeks, um, if you want to call that a delay. Um, uh, but from, from uh, where I left at MEPS in Columbus, uh, obviously I got, on a, I got on a plane and went to uh, Fort Leonardwood, Missouri, where I had my basic training at. Um, and from there it was, you know, two and a half months of training. Um, very physical, uh, did a lot of push-ups, a um, lot of, yeah, just a lot of physical exercise training, um, very little class time, you're always on the go, um, so that's, you know, kind of an idea what basic was, I guess. <laughs> okay, w was there any culture, culture shock for you um, with the people you were in with basic or when you went overseas for you? I would have to say probably the biggest culture shock was when, when I got to basic training. Um, they actually put you in what they call a reception battalion, and that's kind of where you in process to the base. And, um, you know, they, they, you know, they give you more shots, more medical stuff. Um, and then eventually you go to the unit that you're with for the entire two and a half months of basic. Um, so when I left reception and they, they came and got us from our unit, they, I mean, drill sergeants in your face. Um, they, they, they would yell and they wouldn't, they wouldn't uh, let you look at them. Um, it, that was probably the, one of the biggest, uh, biggest times that I remember of having culture shock. Um, and my recruiter told me, you know, he said, when, when you get there, you'll think at least once, what did I get myself into? And at that moment, I, that was the first time of many that I thought, what did I get myself into? Um, as far as being deployed, it was, it, uh, there was somewhat of a culture shock. Um, we're a little more prepared for it because uh, of, you know, training before having gone over there and, uh, you know, kind of knowing what to expect over there. So, all right. And uh, what did you learn while you were in there? Lots. Uh, probably the biggest, the biggest thing that I learned was, you know, discipline. Um, you know, it kind of taught me not, to, not, to, I guess, not to be a slacker. I guess is a good way to put it. Um, I mean, that's probably the biggest thing that I got out of it was, you know, the discipline and. Um, you know, if I, if I set my mind on something, I can definitely do it. Whereas before it was just like, hey, I don't feel like doing that. Um, but I mean, now if, you know, 
if I've got the drive to do something, I'm going to do it. So that's probably the biggest thing I got from the military. Where were some of the places that you were stationed? The main base that I was stationed at for uh, probably three and a half yeah, probably about three years was uh, was down in Fort Campbell, Kentucky, um, and then uh, while I was deployed, uh, I was stationed in uh, a place called Fob Fenty in Jalalabad, Afghanistan. It's in eastern Afghanistan. Um, it was basically, the two main places I was stationed at. All right. Uh, what advice would you give someone who is interested in joining the army? Uh, I'd tell them to do it. Um, one one thing that I that I learned is you don't have to make a career out of it. You can do like I did and go for you know th go in for three or four years, um, and uh, you know get out, go back to school. Uh, there's plenty of veteran benefits out there that um, somebody can take advantage of after they get out. And uh, I mean, yeah, and if you do make a career of it, you know that all the better. It's you know that, you know, a lot of money. <laughs> All right. Um, looking back, is there anything you miss about your time in there? Miss, uh, miss the people more than anything. Um, you know, it, it made a lot of good friends. Um, there's a couple individuals um, that I served with that, uh, that I knew from, you know, the day that I got to my unit. Uh, all the way up to the day that I left and you know those are kind of the people that I miss more more than anything um, you know, and even when you're deployed you know stuff happens back here in the states and you know and you know there's we're basically the only family you have when you're deployed so it's you, it really is kind of like a brotherhood um, when you're deployed and you get to be family and um, yeah, I miss, I miss people more than anything. Okay. Is there anything that you don't miss? <laughs> um, probably the biggest thing is getting up at 5.30 to go run five miles. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely um, see that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, that's, that's probably the biggest thing that I miss because that's rough. Mm -hmm. uh, I, mean, I mean, there's other stuff, but... 5.30 in the morning, it's not fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, how did your experiences in the military change you? Well, like I said before, it's uh, given me a, a better sense of discipline um, as far as, you know, doing, doing tasks and, you know, finding a job. Um, uh, before, uh, you know, I joined the military, I, I can't even count how many jobs that I had. Um, you know, and now it's, uh, you know, I've had, I've had the job that I'm currently at for, you know, six, seven months now. Um, so that's one thing is being able, I guess, being able to tolerate a lot more um, as well and uh, kind of learning to bite my tongue a little bit when I want to say something and I shouldn't. Um, yeah, yeah, and of course, like I said, the, di the discipline is probably the, the biggest thing that all right um, so what's next for Brian Duff uh, well currently I'm uh, in school as a uh, law enforcement major at uh, UC Claremont and uh, I'm also uh, working out at the airport um, temporarily um, but schools schools the main focus right now and uh, eventually get out of there uh, with an associates in law enforcement and uh, hope to get on uh, with the police department somewhere in the next year or so. Sounds great. Uh, good luck to you, Brian. Thank you, Shane. You've been watching One on One. I'm your host, Shane Reinert. Uh, please keep tuning in because there'll be more episodes of One on One coming your way soon.